Hey Brandon. What's Welcome up, to Off the Ranch. Hey guys. Uh, we're here doing some really fine work on the five ton. The roof, when you're going really fast, like 45, which is really fast, uh, it like goes boom, 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 and starts like vibrating against those roll bars on the top. Once you get over that, it's fine and it goes away, but there's like one like 10 mile an hour range in there where it starts vibrating. So we're gonna put some little rubber pads on there because today we're taking this beast on a little road trip. Go see our good friend, Granger Smith. Yeah, we're gonna have to stand on this to get it. Push it down. I don't know which part of it is actually the part that vibrates, but something up here does. We're gonna find out, but this is barely sitting on here. This one. Yeah, if we can really close. If we can get this. You get over here and we can both just pull it. Let's see if we can do that. Oh! <laughs> is there a piece left in there? I don't think so. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Look how much gaps under there now. That ain't going nowhere. Oh, man. It pushed all of it down. This one or this one? Look at that. That might actually work. That's how much of that pushed that down. So maybe just this one? Yeah. I mean, we can double this one up. Is, yeah, double is it, it up. Is it underneath? No, that's never going to get in the way. Okay. You gonna double it up? All right. Yeah. Got double this pretty chaotic. Okay. No way that's coming. See out. what we got. So Granger Smith is having his annual Yee Yee Day, and basically you just <laughs> you just take uh, you know your biggest truck over there, and we make a. It's just a big redneck party, is what it is. And so. This is gonna be a very long drive. It's like two hours away from where I am, but in this thing, it's probably gonna be three hours. So three hours of bouncing around in the five ton, but it's gonna be great. And way better than the 1,200 miles I did in the five ton the first day I bought it. Let's do it. Okay. Listen to this windshield wiper. Hold on, I turned it on. It's air power. So when it's raining like it is today, you gotta to listen to that the whole time. What'd you think about your first time in the five ton? Honestly, it's a lot smoother than your first hour. Yeah, it was about an hour, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, turn turn off. I was gonna say we're leaking something. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than a Humvee, actually. It's way bigger and like harder to like not run over minivans and stuff. Yeah. And but the, the seats, though. I mean, that comfort-wise with air ride, like oh, yeah. when you do inevitably run over the minivan, you barely feel it. Yes, very true. And I have to say, his drifting skills were amazing. I did, yeah, it's wet, and I did drift one time. I've never drifted this thing before, but I came out on a turn and was like, whoa, we're drifting a five ton. Not ideal. Do uh, you want to drive? Yeah, I'll drive. Okay. Giddy up. 20 gallons, 105 bucks. And I think this is a 40 gallon tank. It was, we were only half full, but we were just switching, so I figured I'd fill her up. Diesel's expensive. No big deal, but we bought some gas station cowboy hats, so to keep the sun off us today. Mine's got some nice brown paint job on there. It looks pretty sweet. Start her up and let's go. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> that is right. You can do it. We are going to start this truck. There's no no key to make it even simpler. I've, I know this one. Yep, you got that. Good job. I, nope, not. I don't know what. I actually don't know what that is. I was making sure the blower's on. Good. And you ready? Yep. I don't know what you're doing over there, but there's nothing over there. I think that's the windshield wiper. Just making sure the choke was right. <laughs> the brakes are, the brakes are touch. So you have to actually press the brake pedal and the gas pedal harder than normal. Like it's your right thigh will be tired in 20 minutes. It's already tired. But I, but I'm super strong, and so I'm I'm not really tough. Okay. All right. So what you want to do is probably just ease out. You got to push the gas pedal hard, and you got to push the brakes. Actually, brakes kind of soft, or you'll lock them up. Yeah, it's weird. All right, I'll get my phone going. You're going right. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> All right, you got it. First impressions? 
Now here's your speedometer over here. It's angled because it's sort of fall over. You're going 39. Kind of like a Cadillac, actually. Oh yeah, I know. Like a Cadillac from like the 60s. Yeah. Sounds good though, right? Wow. Sounds so good. He's loving it. He's loving every second of it. He's learning that when it downshifts, a lot of times it locks up the tires. It downshifts so hard that you go, Ert! you hear like a chirp as that back wheel changes speeds. He was asking me how it is like over here. Like I mean, close to the line. And it's just as wide as a Humvee, which is what's crazy. Humvees are very wide, but like it's not wider than a Humvee. It's just way taller and way heavier. And so it just seems like it's so much wider. It seems like you're gonna run over cars. But even big trucks like that, they usually scoop way over because they don't want to be near this thing. It's just so big and they're like, they're not sure what it is, so they get out of your way, usually. Minivans though, we just smash them. We actually just almost got into wreck in the five ton. The first time I've ever locked up the brakes that bad, that, <laughs> that concrete truck right there was in front of us and the light turned red in front of him and he should have just, it didn't turn red, it like turned yellow and he should have just ran it. But he stopped and we were like, like not even going fast, but the roads are just like a little, it's not raining, it's just drizzling here. And so they're just a little bit like wet and oily. And this thing was just like going 20 miles an hour, just like sliding sideways until we stopped. Like we stopped like 10 feet from behind him, but Dude. I puckered a little bit. Hey, grab my boxers in the back. I'm trying to <laughs> the but we didn't hit anybody. We didn't run into the back of a concrete truck or murder a whole family, so all's well. He did great. He drove for about an hour. Uh, we actually are almost there, so we'll see you at Yee. Yeah. We're there. Look, there's all those regular cars, and they put us over here with these little baby trucks. Huh. Man, these, oh, look how small it is. These little guys. Look, I'm going to steal some of that gas. Oh, man. Look at look, the roofs only come up to here. <laughs> Cute little truck. Actually, that one looks pretty beefy. Those are some big tires. Hey, right, I'm here with you? Hannah Barron, Dale Brisby. We got the man Granger. Kentucky Ballistics here. God, just messed up. Kendall. Kendall Jones is here. <laughs> hey, what's up, Tyler? All right, Hannah wants uh, Granger and I to go noodling, as they call it. Will you explain what noodling is? Yeah, it's where you're catching catfish with your hands. She actually talks like that. That's not an accent. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a fake accent. It's not a fake accent. <laughs> it's not a fake accent. All right, so Granger, are you in? I'm in. If you go, I'm in. Are you in Kentucky? If he goes, I'm in. Uh, okay. I mean, all right. <laughs> so you go stick your hand down in a cave underwater yep. and pull out, how big are these catfish? Anywhere from like 10 to 70 pounds. 70 pounder. All right, yeah, I'm in. If these guys do it, I'm not scared. Anything they can do, I can do. Y'all can't back out now because it's on video. It's yeah, on video. It's on video. <laughs> We're in. I got on YouTube. We got I'll this. Hold them accountable. That's right, Kendall Jones. Yeah. What up, O'Burst? What's up? Hey, this, is probably, this is probably the only back seat you actually fit in, right? Yeah, this one and the one I was born in. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's a lie. We're, that might not be. We're about to go put this thing in the mud, and I think they got some pretty deep mud over there, so we may get her stuck.
tons, too fat. I would have made it. If you two thick boys weren't on here, I would have made it straight through. <laughs> it's him too, it's not me. Uh, we were close, we were coming out the other side and just lost all traction in this mud. It was, we lost all of our speed in the middle. It's like, I don't know, four feet deep or something. And we just, this thing weighs 20,000 pounds and it just sunk. So we gotta get someone to pull us out. I'm gonna try it again with more speed. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> hey, don't you pull trucks for a living? I do. I got a rope. I'll just throw it out there and you just drag me out. I'm in the perfect gear too. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready to go. You got four wheel driving though? Ready to rock. Sweet, this is gonna be good. Yeah. We're about to do round two. Matt's right, gonna get some speed this we're time. We're sending her big time. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm gonna boost and launch it, four wheel drive. Let's do it. <laughs> we made it though. We made it. All right, that was good. It was, it was all the screaming. Yes, man, it was barely. Powered. It was so close yeah, to not making it. This I thought we were gonna get stuck again. It's so heavy. Back. Look at the roof. It's dripping. It's pouring off the roof right now. <laughs> that tells you how high that water went. Man, that was wild. <laughs> Off. You ain't gonna pressure <laughs> that was gross but hey we made it we just had to we had to send it harder huh it's yeah i mean it's kind of an old nylon rope but yeah we snapped it pretty good she's a heavy girl hey you know what uh we need to be sponsored by um lone river ranch waters uh so anyway lone river hit me up we're in texas and i think we'd be a great fit for your company God, look at this. So much of it. Boom. Well, at least you cleaned the pond out. Yeah, we got all the seaweed out of there. That's probably not good. Oh, there's thorns in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. What is that? What the heck is... Oh, it's a zipper. Look at this. There's a zipper in there? Apparently the seal zips up. What? And it's really clean. That is extremely clean. What? How have I never seen it? Is there one on that side? You can't see over there. Yeah. Well, oh, you got a little, you got a cockleburr. Yeah, I don't like those. I don't like cockleburrs. Cockleburrs. <laughs> All right, see if there's a zipper on that one. On that hub seal. Give me a minute. I gotta oh, do yeah, that. there it is. Oh, I, yeah. I see it. Ah, another one. God, I don't like those at all. Dude, it's crazy how a much zipper. this stuff got. That's weird. Five tons are weird. There's a weird thing. Yeah, they are. I'm glad I didn't rip any of these airlines on all this stuff in here. Dude, there may have been a betrayal. Well, as far as I know, I didn't rip anything. We'll see. Why did I do this? I'm still two hours from home. That's a mistake. Big mistake. You gotta Don't help. say that You now. gotta help me if we break down, okay? Well, I'm riding with you, so I guess... <laughs> like... Oh, my... Brandon! It's on top of the freaking fuel pump! It's way up in there. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so high. <laughs> That's oh, a... it's way, way in there. Oh, too. yeah. That's our fuel pump, which is like high up on the engine, and it obviously the entire engine went underwater. That's why my socks are still wet. This stuff's gonna be flying off down the highway. That's gonna be fun. I'm glad they still all work after going underwater, though. 
Oh man. Dale's taking the five ton for a spin. I'm a big rig trucker, old son. Hey, you know what we should do? We should just give that uh that fire pit a little bump from the big bumper. Go spin her around and give it a little bump. You guys ready to race? Is that what this is? Oh, you want to race? race for pinks? Let's go. Let's go pink slips. Can I get pink slips on your <laughs> <I'm> rental? rental. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Are you guys going down there? Alright, we'll go right now. We're gonna race O'Burst in his rental Cadillac Escalade. Through the mud. <laughs> it's go time. This is my whole life is built up to this. They got a lot of big bonfire. They put a lot of fuel in that though. Now, I'm gonna get the five ton and plow through it at about 67 miles an hour. You so down? That's a great idea. All right, I'm let's. I'm coming too. Oh man, the starter won't work. I'll just, I'll just let the fire burn, I guess. But that would be an epic video, I'm just saying. This is gonna be in the episode, but oh, Houston, we got a problem. There's oil everywhere, but yeah. it literally is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but where you can see it? Okay, come over here. Okay, apparently it's not gonna be too bad. Oh, it is warm in here. Look right here. Get the camera in there. <sighs> yeah. So that's where dipstick needs to go. Yeah, that's where dipstick goes. Apparently we're just missing a dipstick. How the, did someone steal it? No, you know what, dude, you look great. <laughs> I got up on the. Tr it, yeah. <laughs> It tastes pretty good. Good. Uh, yeah, that 10W30 or what is oh that? Oh my god, dude! How much is on? It's you're pretty black. I would say blackface. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of oil, dude. Yeah, it's been spraying like crazy. And yeah, we actually didn't stop because of oil. Also, um, we oh, it's even back here. We were driving down the highway. Everything's oily. We stopped just because. Uh, we wanted to clean the mud off the mirrors so I could see better, and then we noticed oil everywhere. We're gonna have to take this hood open. All of that, yeah, is oil. Everything. Yeah, it soaked everything. We're gonna definitely have to open this hood, which means we gotta get some wrenches to open this up. Okay, hold on. What if we? <laughs> Did you want a you want a napkin or something? No, nah, man, I'm good. Why? Oh, no, no reason. I went in. I bought some oil. I bought some Gatorade. Brandon chugged the Gatorade, and now we're gonna. It's still got some gator in this. So it's gonna be extra hydrated too. We're gonna to put some oil. So here's the problem. We can't actually open our hood without a lot of work. But we're gonna plug off the dipstick hole and then we actually can crawl up in here. Luckily the hood is giant, but we can go right in here and we can get up in here and I put a funnel that I just bought in the fill hole. 
So we're gonna try to fill it with a Gatorade bottle, uh, one, one, whatever that is, at a time. Uh, 28 fluid ounces. One 28 ounces at a time. And we need exactly It's 4, It's following the creases of your face, your, your, your wrinkles, so you got a big T on what your forehead now. Ah, oh, no, you're good, you don't have wrinkles, you look great. I filled it up extra so that it's 10 times harder to pour. Great, that was, that was a really good call. <laughs> we put that whole gallon in there. This thing holds five gallons. Uh, so we got the gallon in there, and now we gotta figure out how to plug up that oil filler hole without an actual dipstick. We still have two hours to drive. We have to do a kind of good job. I got a tire patch kit? I don't know, they don't have any tape or anything in there. And I got some gloves too, I thought we could maybe just like shove these in there. I was trying to figure out a way to like tape them over it though. I don't know, we just gotta keep all of that oily mess from continuing to spray out as we drive. Brandon found a Sharpie marker, took the cap off, stuck it over there, and it fits down pretty tight. You owe me a Sharpie. Oh, that was your Sharpie? Yeah. We're gonna see now uh, if there's any oil leak when I just have it idling, and then we're gonna drive to a place that has tools, like there's a Walmart right down the road. Ugh. So we can actually open the hood and get in there and look around and make sure there's nothing else bad. We still have two hours to drive. Ready? Yep. We don't got no oil pressure. We probably lost more than a gallon of oil. We might have been losing oil the whole time we were driving through all the water, we just didn't know it. But when I blip it, oh, we got, we got a hair. There's a little bit of oil pressure. A little bit? Yeah. All right, so, run it. It ain't spent anymore. We got oil pressure. Let's go to, let's go to Walmart. We made it all the way to AutoZone. Uh, cause we saw those in AutoZone even closer than Walmart. And we bought a bunch of little caps. Look at this little cute thing. Vacuum caps. And a hose clamp. We're just gonna tighten that thing on. I also bought these two crescent wrenches. I'm gonna open this thing up. We're gonna look and make sure that's the only thing leaking oil. Just to make sure while we have a auto parts store we can get everything fixed before we go on our two hour trip. Remember how we were gonna leave early before the sun went down? Yeah, great plan. Sun's down. We just worked for like 10 minutes to get the cage and the hood off. The top of the underside of the hood just covered in weeds up there. We need to see, oh my God. Here's my t-shirt that we used to plug the intake over here. How long has it been since you seen that? Uh, dude, I haven't opened this hood since we put the cage on here. It's probably about time for an oil change anyway, so good thing we're doing this. Well, this is an oil change. This is an oil change. We already dumped out half our oil. Now we just gotta put some more in. Right. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Why would, why would I do this? This is why we can't have nice things, Matt. That's where our dipstick went in. Everything, it's kind of splattered in front and everything is soaked behind it. So I'm pretty sure that was our whole oil leak. And Brandon's got it clamped off tight. We're just gonna go ahead and put another gallon in here and we have a gallon for the road. So we'll just kind of watch our oil pressure button. Fingers crossed, we may have fixed it. It looks like a swamp in here. Moment of truth, see if we get some pressure. Nothing on idle. That's exactly what it was before. The gauge just kind of I mean, it's got pressure on idle. We probably should have checked this before we close the hood. Let's just drive a little bit, see what we got. Yeah. We're home. It's 10.30. Three and a half hours, Brandon. Three and a half, that's actually not bad. Could have been right. worse. Could have been worse. Thanks for your help. Yes, sir. Uh, we gotta do some work on old, uh, old 510. Thanks for watching, we love you. We'll see you next time. Hey, go subscribe to Muscle Rod. Cause that dude worked hard. He got his, got his face all oily. Yeah, dude, what I You can't see, you're totally invisible down oh, there. He got his face all oily, so go subscribe to Muscle Rod. He needs it right now. <laughs> so he can afford some soap to clean his face off. <laughs> Good night! Ah! Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.